What led a man to kill his mother and six-year-old half-sister? That's what White County authorities say they're investigating. The stabbings happened near Monticello in White County. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet went there to get the latest on the investigation. State police is handling this ongoing investigation, and while officials say detectives may have a motive, they're not releasing the details just yet. This beige house with a child swing set is the first you see when entering this lakefront community. And neighbors say they can't pass it without thinking of Shelly and Jilly, Michelle Haskins and her six-year-old daughter, Jillian. We drive by daily and you see them out playing out in the yard in the snow and, the, and, and it's just eerie driving by and seeing, you know, an empty driveway and an empty house. As a father, Jim Osley says news of the murders of a mother and daughter is tough to explain. You live literally a few hundred yards away and you have no idea what's going on. And, and, and then the fact that it was a, you know, a mom and a daughter and a, and, and a young aged child who I have children similar age and it's just it's really scary and sad. Police have arrested Haskins son David Roddenbarger. They say early Saturday morning the 20 year old stabbed his mother and half sister. He was actually really cool in school. Like, he was in our musicals and he was and then when I come to find out that he went from that I mean it's just it's sad. It's scary but you know we don't know the history of the family or the person you know whether medical mental but, I mean, it's still scary because it could happen to anybody. Police say after Haskins was stabbed by her son, she was able to call 911 for help. But when they arrived, she had already passed away. First responders rushed the Woodlawn Elementary School first grader to the hospital where she died. White County's prosecutor's office is waiting for the results of the state police investigation before filing formal charges. And school officials tell us a funeral has been set for the mother and daughter on Wednesday. Reporting in White County, Ebony Monet, RTV6.